However, we recognise there are some very specific circumstances where there would be a serious risk of harm to public welfare if people in critical roles are unable to go to their workplace, like air traffic controllers or train signallers. So people in those kinds of roles who have received two vaccinations plus two weeks uh, beyond the second vaccine will not need to self-isolate to perform those critical tasks. They will, however, have to continue to self-isolate at all other times. The people eligible for this will receive uh, personalised letters setting out the steps they must follow. Mr Speaker, this is a sensible and pragmatic step and one that will be used sparingly and responsibly. Mr Speaker, we are being similarly pragmatic at our borders. As my right honourable friend, the Transport Secretary, has confirmed, UK residents arriving from amber countries who have been fully vaccinated will no longer have to quarantine, although they will still need to comply with necessary testing requirements. This will not apply to France due to the persistent presence of cases of the beta variant, which was first identified in South Africa. We are doing everything in our power to restore international travel and restore it safely. But new variants pose the greatest threat to our path out of this pandemic, and we will not hesitate to act in a similar way with any other country. We will continue to keep a close eye on the data and be firm and decisive in how we protect the process we have made and the progress we have made. Uh, but the enduring message is this, Mr Speaker. Getting vaccinated is the best way to ensure you can travel as freely as possible. Vaccination also holds the key for doing the things we love here at home, Mr Speaker. We are supporting the safe reopening of large, crowded settings such as nightclubs, as we saw last night, and music uh, venues, with the use of the NHS COVID pass as a condition of entry to reduce the risks of transmission. I encourage businesses to draw on this support and use the NHS COVID pass in the weeks ahead. We will be keeping a close watch on how it is used by venues, and we reserve the right, Mr Speaker, to mandate if necessary. By the end of September, everyone aged 18 and over will have the chance to receive full vaccination and the additional two weeks for that protection to really take hold. So at that point, we plan to make full vaccination a condition of entry to nightclubs and other venues where large crowds gather. Proof of a negative test will no longer be sufficient. Any decisions will, of course, Mr Speaker, be subject to parliamentary scrutiny, and we will ensure the appropriate exem exemptions for those who have genuine medical reasons uh, of why they can't get vaccinated. And I'm clear we will always look at the evidence available and do all we can to ensure people can continue to do the things they love. Mr Speaker, our vaccination programme has put us on the road to recovery. We should all be proud of how this national effort is helping us take steps towards a more normal life, but we must keep reinforcing that wall of protection. Getting the jab, getting the second jab if you've had the first, and getting the booster shot if you're asked to come forward. And with such a deadly virus and the continued threat of new variants, our wall of protection must be more than just vaccines alone. We must continue to do all the other sensible things we know can keep the virus at bay. Getting tested, considering the advice, and continuing to act with caution. Taken together, Mr Speaker, this will help us all enjoy these new experiences and safely slow the spread of this deadly virus. And I commend the statement to the House.